Hey guys, welcome to Cassie Draws and Colors. I'm Cassie and I just want to say thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video and I hope that if you like my art and you like this video that you'll hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more artsy kind of content. And so this picture that I'm working on right now is the picture that I did for this year's Mermaid 2020. I've never participated in one of these monthly challenges before. I always mean to, and something comes up or I forget, I don't know, excuses, excuses, right? So I decided to at least try to draw one piece for a mermaid. I uh, do not have the time to make a completed drawing every day. I have tried and tried in the past, and being a homeschooling mom of two young kids, it's just impossible for me to sit down and complete one piece of artwork in a day. So, and I know that you can do simple sketches or pretty much whatever you want, but I am, I tend to get grandiose and I'm ambitious with my art and I always get sucked into the details of a piece. So it's just, it's impossible for me to just kind of relax and just do small sketches for these monthly challenges. Maybe I'll teach myself to do that one day. I am certainly not saying that that's a bad thing to do. It's actually a very good thing to do to loosen up and not take it so seriously and just relax and have fun with it. But I've not quite got the hang of that yet. I'm still kind of a I wouldn't say new at art. I'm definitely a novice. I'm not a professional. I'm completely self-taught and I'm still learning. I'm just learning as I go, making a lot of mistakes along the way. And it's just, it's, it's a fun ride, especially when you started at the time of life or when you start at the time of life that I started. So I'm not really sure what to say about the piece itself. It's obviously a mermaid portrait. I wanted to do a full mermaid with the tail and the body and everything, but I am in the process of a move. As some of you know, I moved out of my old house, and now I am currently staying with my father-in-law until our new house is built. And we are supposed to be moving into our new house next month. So my channel is going to get kind of sparse and rocky again as I am unpacking and putting things together and trying to get settled in our new home. So it's going to be quite a an interesting ordeal for the next month or two. So I'm, I'm going to try my best to put out as much content as I can on this channel. And I hope that I can stay pretty regular and at least try to draw every day and try to get a post, a video posted every week. I'm, I'm really going to try hard, but I'm going to have to be forgiving of myself because as I said, I have two young kids. I can't neglect them and I have to teach them and I have to actually be mom and spend time with them and play with them and all that good stuff. So art for me right now is is a priority and it's important to me. It's it's definitely something that I enjoy, but it's not at the very top of the list for me right now. And that's just the time of life that I'm in. So as this video progresses, I'm finding I'm kind of running out of things to say. The picture is kind of self-explanatory. I used a number of mediums. I used my new Cali Art markers for the background. I used a Copic marker for her skin. I used a Cali Art marker for the hair base. And then over top of it, I'm using my Polychromos pencils. Oh, and that brings to mind something to talk about. So for most of most of you know that I'm a Prismacolor girl. I love my Prismacolors. And I recently purchased a set of Faber-Castell poly polychromos. And <clears throat> there's definitely a learning curve with these pencils. They are, they're beautiful to use. They're smooth. They lay down beautifully. The color is super vibrant. But I find that being an 
oil-based pencil, these polychromos are, they're a bit harder. The tip is, is kind of harder than the uh, Prismacolor is. And that is something that I have to get used to. I'm used to this soft, buttery pencil te texture that just goes up, goes down just like cream. And so I fought with these pencils a little bit on this piece, but I think the end result is pretty good considering that this is only my third or fourth time actually using these pencils for a piece. And that's about it. That's all I have to say about it. Other than it was a blast to do, and it took me probably a solid week from sketch to the finished product that you see here. So, oh, and I used a Posca pen to lay down a base for this gold jewelry on her shoulder, and I'm using a gold gel pen on top of it. So there, it, there you have it. There's the finished piece, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the art, and I'll see you next time. God bless.